Obsidian recently released a new bases feature which mimics the databases you can see inside of Notion. So what I thought I'd do is recreate a task and project database that you'd see in Notion, but inside of Obsidian using the new features. If we have a look at Obsidian, this is a brand new vault called tasks and projects. There is no folder. So what I'm going to do is create a folder and then another one called projects. And now I'm going to create some notes just as some placeholders. So I now have two project files and three task files, but I want to make sure that these tasks and projects are easy to create. So I'm going to use templates. So let's make a task template and a project template pushing control P and then adding some properties. So I want a completed property, a date property, an importance property, then probably a task property with text field so I can link it to projects. And I'm just going to go to source view, copy the markdown from there. Let's come back out, go into the task template, just paste that in because they're all be the same except from the task property, which I want to change to project. Now I can go down into the settings, go to the templates plugin, select the folder, which we've just created, which is the templates folder. Now when I come to task one, insert template, task template, task two, task template, task three, task template, and then projects will insert the project template and insert the project template. So now when I create a new task, I'm going to go into hotkeys, go to the templates, add a hotkey for that. Oh, that's conflicting. Let's click on the keyboard. What's it conflicting with file property? Let's get rid of that one. So now when I'm in here, I can go there, task and added it. Very nice. Now to create this base view that I want to see. So control P, create new base. What I want to do is go to filters. Let's filter this view for the folder that contains projects. So this view, if I come to here, change the name, configure, change the name to projects. And now it's going to show projects and then we add a view tasks, save that one. Now I want to add a filter for this view folder, just show the task. So now I've got a tasks view and a projects view for the database for projects, properties, Let's show all those properties that we created. I probably want the completed option further over and let's expand that out. So now when I come into here, we can go bracket bracket task four and let's just add in the project due date. Let's say the 30th, the project due date for this one is going to be next week on Friday. The importance, let's say that one's high. This one is going to be medium. Let's just create another project as well for filtering purposes and say, yep, this one has actually been completed. And let's say this is also a medium priority. So when we come back to our base, oh, let's call this views. I then want to filter this view, add filter, completed is incomplete, right? So now we've got to do projects. So let's actually change this to active projects because then I can duplicate the view and then say completed projects and then I can change the filter to tick. So now I've got a completed projects view and active projects view and inside the active view I can middle click and go straight to the task. Very nice. But the linking isn't bi-directional. So even though I've added the link inside of project one to task four, if we go to task four, it doesn't actually have that. So I'd need to add project one in there as a link. That's of course, if I want to see it inside of the properties, because it is technically linked, because if I go to the settings, go to the backlinks core plugin and then show them at the bottom of the notes, or I can show them in the side because we've got the backlinks there. You can see it's actually in project one. And if I close Obsidian, reopen Obsidian, I can now see that there's the project. So if I was to get rid of the project linked inside of the properties, you can see it's still linked because it's a backlink from project one. So this link here, if I go to project one, this link is showing that it's backlinked to task four. So project one and task four are linked. It's just not inside of the file properties, but it doesn't look like I can add another task inside of this property. So let's try a different type. Let's say task three now. Yeah, so we've got task four and task three both showing. Let's go to task three. Yep, the link is working. Let's come back and go to task four. Yep, the link is working. So if we come back to task, this property type needs to be a list type rather than a text type. So if we go to the source mode, it's showing them as a list here rather than when it was text. 
So I've added an example property. You can see it's a text type, and I've tried to add the two links, but it's not quite working. If I go to the source mode, what it's doing is it's taking the whole thing as text. So everything in between the brackets, the end brackets and the beginning brackets is all one file rather than them being individual, which is why we need the list, which makes total sense to me anyway. So now when I hover back to the bases, we've got the task list. So now when I click in here, I now have those options as drop downs because they're part of the list. So I can say task four as an option. And when I go double bracket, it then gives me a drop down of all the other tasks. So let's say task one. So task four is for both. Let's not do that. So let's say task two is there. And then when I come to the task view, let's change this. So add some properties. And so we've got our completed, the date, the importance, the project, the project I'd need to add. So let's go. Mm, let's have a quick look. So task one is in project two. Let's pin this view while we're doing this. So we've got task two is in also project two. And so I imagine task three is project one and task four is project one. Yes. Now this is where I feel like I want to start playing a little bit because of task three and task four, the information is there, they're linked, but I can't see any more information. It's almost like I want a, a basis view inside of this project. So I think I'm going to create a new base. So let's go filters, all views folder contains tasks and then in this specific view I want the projects property to contain project one then for the properties I want to show completed the task name the date and the importance so let's just add a quick date to that one let's say 29th and this one I want to get done today so now let's just rename this configure view project one I'm imagining this is a much larger project than just two tasks having maybe 10 15 different tasks so we've got a, an entire view for this project so now we've got that I'm going to rename this base project views if I close this down I can then double bracket project views and then put an exclamation mark before it to show that. Now we've got project one as a database view, which is showing. And from here, I can tick the task off or leave it there. So there we go. So now I've got task three and task four showing as project one as a database view. And I can switch between any of the other bases. So the project, but I'm in project one. So I'm going to keep it here. And I can tick the task off. And then I assume when I come back here, go to active projects, go to tasks, there it is, the task has been completed. So now I have the tasks for the project being shown inside of the view, which I think does everything that I'd want to see. Again, I want to reiterate, this is a very new feature to Obsidian. It's for insiders and Catalyst users. So other views will come in, maybe other features will come in, but I'm, I'm liking the look of this for some bigger projects that I'm planning currently inside of Obsidian. I'm certainly starting to use the basis a bit more.